Did I really forget to stream again? Yes. Sadly. Uh, it wasn't because I didn't want to, or I actually forgot. It was because there was a show that was on. There was an event on, and I wanted to watch it. However, it came on at 7, and by, by the time I got done with what I was originally recording, it was already, like, almost 6, and I didn't have time to really stream. So, we're back with another analog horror reaction since those tend to do quite well. Today we got <laughs> Midwest Angelica. I hear it's really good. So this is me just completely doing... Obviously, when I do these analog horror reactions, when I did it for... um, oh, What was it called? Greylock, Vita Carnis, and... Uh, angel hair, it was all going into this blind. This is another one of those going into it blind because I had never heard of it, and then I saw it get brought up in a um, tier list, so I skipped where uh, he had stopped, and he put it really high. When he stopped talking about it, he put it really high, so I'm like, okay, gonna have to watch it. So that's what we're gonna do now. So... Be ready. Hopefully next week I'll get you guys with another stream highlight of AVGN to at assimilation. Hopefully. I hope I can do it. All right. Wish me luck. Anyway, let's get into Midwest Angelica. It's only a minute. All right. What am I getting myself into? A corpse descends from the cosmos, years before I was born right into your backyard. The ultimate in science fiction. An alien thriller. A threat unlike any other. This is the Midwest Angelica. I don't think I didn't notice that you tried the whole like uh, angling like it was Metallica. Don't think I didn't notice. <laughs> Critics are calling it a one-of-a-kind, a sublime experience into the realm of the unknown. A twist of biblical proportions. Don't hesitate. This is your chance. Call within the next 15 minutes to receive a free poster, along with your copy of Midwest Angelica. Only $16.99 plus shipping and handling. Call... 17 bucks? Now... Man, what? All right, now this one is um, this one's eight minutes, an eight minute twenty two second video. So let's go home. Better off for that. Uh, ah, shit! It is way too loud for me. Hold on, I had to lower the volume in my headset. Home. Volume presentation is. Okay, not to be distributed. Sorry, June 1985. So that was April of this year. Uh, we picked up an anomalous biosignature around Jupiter's orbit. We thought it was some sort of uh, instrumentation issue, but we wanted to take a look just to make sure. Thanks to the frame one, of our team, frame two. We okay, it just looks it like what we found was frankly astonishing. Truly What's so astonishing about red? The object, which we've codenamed AZ-001, appears to be 66.3 kilometers in diameter. We still need more data to prove that life is indeed thriving on this object. November 1985, okay. We've determined that AZ-001 is in fact harboring life. This discovery could change the foundation of science as we know it. Well, Harboring might not be the correct word to use here, no. Uh, we, uh, we believe AZ-001 itself is alive. All or right. at least was alive. We have reasons to believe that the entity, AZ-001, might be a corpse drifting in space. A corpse drifting in space. Yeah. They're dead. All by my scans taken between, uh, March 1987. 
AZ-001's trajectory has been calculated. Based on our calculations, we believe that it will reach the vicinity of Earth's orbit by the year 1989. 99. Due to the implications of AZ-001's existence, NASA has made the decision to form a group known as the Division of Heavenly Operation and Material Examination, or simply known as HOPE. This group will study AZ-001's composition, trajectory, and will hopefully make contact with the object in 1999. It's also designated to hide the existence of AZ-001 from the public. I have been chosen as one of the lead positions in HOPE. Studying a corpse in space. Dr. Lucas Michael went missing in 1989. His current whereabouts are unknown. Maybe he was the corpse the whole time. Oh, that'd be stupid. He was talking to us about the corpse in space. 1995, August. My name is Dr. Ray O'Connor. And I am head of psychological contamination research here at home. In the past few years, we have made incredible discoveries regarding AZ-001. Fucking Southern Squidward. It's almost strange to say this, but the object seems to be emanating massive detectable brain waves. We have detected the presence of delta waves here at home, HQ, which are the same sort of waves, waves generated okay. during deep sleep in humans. We are currently in the process of attempting to decode these waves to gather more information regarding AZ-001 and its potential effects. Alright. Home psychology research became crucial in understanding the nature of AZ-001. Alright. January 1999. When E.T. Uh, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, on January 1st, 1999, at 9.32 p.m., AZ-001 entered H-E-O. He-O! Passing in front of the moon. January 13th, 1999, at 3.23 a.m., entered Leo. Oh, man. Poor Leo. Close-up photos were taken. Five forty-five, five forty-seven. Oh, On January sixteenth at one twenty-six a.m., a large chunk of AZ zero zero one was determined to have separated from the main body. Okay, maybe don't touch it. This chunk has been labeled AZ-001 Alpha. I said don't touch it. That also meant don't study it. See? see? Look what happened. Usual radio propagation detected. Unlikely to be caused by sporadic E. See, there's another one. Like, Alpha Chunk enters the atmosphere. Hey, I wouldn't shine a light at it, a camera at it. It looks like it's getting closer. To you. You might want to move. Digital tracking of the anomal anomalous object. It landed in what state is that? I don't know my fucking uh what you called. Object touchdown confirmed at 3.52 a.m. by multiple radars and tracking units. Object determined to have landed at the coordinates. 
that. Classified footage. Okay. Stop that. Okay. Oh, orange suits. Orange suits. Um, where are we going here? What are we doing? What am I looking at? Say far away. Oh, was that it? What is all that? Don't touch it. Didn't they just say stay far away from it? Or away from it? All I see are leaves. And, oh, there's a fire. What the fuck? Maniac trying to burn it. What are you? Oh. Oh. He melted. End of tape. All right, on to the next one. Attention. Hold on, I want to point out that this is in acts. So, obviously, this one is nine videos. So, there's other, like, videos that are out there. So, we are going to watch them all. Attention. If you or a loved one are living in any of the counties shown on your screen, you're encouraged to consult your doctor or call the toll-free number below for a free the evaluation second today. Video. Tests of an experimental pesticide containing ingredients linked to insomnia, somnambulism, okay. strange or uncomfortable dreams, and general sleep problems have previously occurred. Dude, I have general sleep problems. I should probably call this number. <laughs> in these areas, and your input is critical in evaluating the product's safety for consumer use. Again. If you or a loved one are living in any of the counties shown on your screen, you are encouraged to consult your doctor or call 1-800-555-4663 for a about the people that don't today. live in Lowe's That's Counties? Dick. 1-800-555-4663. This is a four-minute video. Starfield Ranch. It was... January 16th, 99. Rancher Avery Jones is awoken to the sound of his dogs barking. Avery's son, Colin Jones, begins recording shortly after their, thereafter. Shortly thereafter. Makes his way to the ranch prairie. Who oh, that? Colin, grab Max. I'm going to get the rifle. What? What happened to Rocky? I don't know. What? What happened? Yeah, hey, what happened to Rocky? No. 
What do you, why do you keep zooming in on the fence? It's 4.46 a.m. Go back to bed. Are you crying? What, what, what is that? Seven minutes of footage are too degraded to view. Only a select few frames are discernible. Oh, it, that's a deer. Lol. Oh my. Gunshots are audible. Oh my god. What's the technical bonds are doing? Avery Jones is assimilated. Oh, poor Avery. Run, run. Close the door, dumbass. Infection. Damn, they broke jump out a window or something. Go in the fucking. Are you throwing up? Oh my god. Nah, Savinia! Family. Oh god, who do you think you are, Dom Terrell? This is a one and a half minute star killer. Updates on xenobiology research group study of con, con I, I'm, I'm illiterate. Discovered. Samples of the plant <laughs> injected into the, Jesus Christ, sir. I have a recent experimentation with specimens of aluminum kappa, Jesus Christ. What am I looking at? 200 milliseconds after infection. <laughs> 200 milliseconds after infection. <laughs> 400 milliseconds after infection. <laughs> What's 500 look like? Peer results combined with recent findings indicate possess some degree of whatever intelligent and virulent nature present possesses a clear and pres present danger to the entire United States population. How about the entire world population? Think about them once in a while. Research personnel st strongly recommend that the con uh, destroyed on site. Codename designation, Star Kill. Yay! Phantoms. This is six minute eleven second. Incident report. Chronological chronology of events. Dr. Andrew Evans returns to Alpha Chunk for further analysis.
Oh my god, we're inside the virtual boy. Official audio record. January 28th, 99. You okay? I'm fine. This is it, right here. I want this area marked, just for sample collection. Sample collection, no. That's all we're gonna need. <coughs> Request retrieval team. Requesting retrieval team at Alpha Chunk Point A, over. Alpha Chunk. Oh my. Photo of Dr. Evans. Dr. Evans returned to the psychology contam contamination lab at home HQ. I don't have in place of the retrieve samples of AZ001 into storage. Dr. Evans contains a container to refill water cooler believed to have taken longer than normal to obtain. Dr. Evans refills the water cooler and dispenser at least two cups of water. And dispenses at least two cups of water. Dialogue between Dr. Evans and Dr. Connor. Hey, I brought you some water. Thought you might have wanted a cup. Thanks, Andrew. Were you able to get the results you wanted? Unfortunately, much of the alpha chunk was too necrotic to really get any disease and sample from it. Likely have to find some other chunks connected to the main body of the AZ-001. Sorry to hear that. I think I might be able to get you the new day you want to have to figure it out. So I'll have to get back to you tomorrow, I guess. That's all right. We can discuss more about it tomorrow after the meeting. All right. Tomorrow after the meeting. To your desk. Return to his desk behind Dr. O'Connor. No further interaction has occurred. Dr. Adams begins to display unusual behavior. January 28th, 99. Uh... Oh, I can't turn my head all the way like that. Dr. Evans departs to another part of the home HQ facility. Scenario rec recreation. Dr. Evans in storage room 3B for unknown reasons. Oh! Wait, who are you? Home HQ is put under lockdown following gunshots in the building. Oh my god! Target terminated. Evan, Dr. Evan's body is brought to the central morgue for post-mortem autopsy.
course it's across. Ooh. 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 Batman Arkham uh, detective mode. Report conclusions. Hot Driven's death is ruled as an assassination by a third party, though much remains unknown at this time. That's not an assassination. Dr. O'Connor has apparently disappeared following the incident, as he has been unable to be reached for a comment. Additionally, a follow-up investigation found that one of vial of AZ-001 sample was missing after the incident. Uh, end of report. All right. You got me chills. Bulletin. Sign off. Long Pine Midwest Church invites you to weekly serve. No, I don't mean it. Stop it. So I just in their gratitude to find was those volunteering to assist this week's service. Ray O'Connor, that's a name you might need to remember. That's the first name is Ray O'Connor. Azil. Azazel. Oh, this is a nine minute video. Uh -huh. The following record contain record contains accounts of activities of Sir Sam Page and also Andrew Webster. February 12, 1999, both officers would be killed in the line of duty. Aw. Video evidence and testimony are compiled for, e for ease of access in determining the cause of death. Okay. A missing persons P PSA. I'll try that again. Why doesn't he come? I've got everything all figured out. Top to bottom, smooth to silk. Everything's falling apart. It's always falling apart. John Carlisle. Oh, he was one of the names. Oh, these are probably all names from the service. Aaron Mathias. David Rohde. All right. Sam Withrow. Told you all those names are going to be important. Told you. The missing persons have yet to be located. The Long Pine Police Department Dispatch Center receives a 911 call. 911, please state your emergency. I'm at 876 Pine Lane in Long Pine, right next to the church. And uh, I can't really say for certain, but there's some, some kind of sacrifice going on. Of course, it's an occult. Of course. It's always an occult. Okay, we'll be right there. Could you elaborate, please? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a human sacrifice. I hear screams. It, it seems to be like a pagan ritual or something of the sort. Okay, just hold tight. We'll be right there. Please stay on the line. Perhaps there are soon called to the site. The following photographs are, and videos have been recovered from the officer's vehicle and corpses, probably. Hot Cam 3. Following photographs were taken by Officer Andrew Webster. All right.
Those are photographs. A gift of the blood angel. Phantom in its appearance. But inside, churn with flesh and blood of the stars. The blessed walk in silence, blissfully closer to his sacred realm. Ascended beyond mortals. We have become obstacle of Azazel. All right. Oh God, another one. I received a notification. Altar. Time out. I received a notification. Altar. An offering the soul's bodies fallen. Reconstruction of God's realm. Infinite in its cycle of life. Death but a moment of passing time. He is infinity incarnate. Okay. I, I, I don't believe you. Okay. This is the last known appearance of Officer Sam Page. Page's body is yet to be recovered. Investigation is ongoing. Officer Webster continues outside to search for the source of the disappear disturbance. Oh my. Following photographs were taken by taken of the object. Oh my. Oh, uh, yeah, those are people. They don't look like people. Ow. Oh. They still alive? Ugh. Their mouth is moving. Officer Webster begins to show distress as he suspects. Okay. Ew, that's disgusting. Come on. Bring it, motherfucker. I probably shouldn't tighten my fist in case a jump scare happens. I tend to punch things when I do that. Um. Thumb's coming. Dude. Silence your footsteps, man. collaboration
The man seen in the footage has yet to be identified. Slender man, slender man. The body of the officer it was found. The cause of death remains unknown. Okay, Officer Re Andrew was found, but dead. Shortly after the incident, unmarked military personnel retrieved the body of what? Retrieved the body along with much of the footage recorded. A CIA operative named Robert Spencer has assumed command of the surrounding area and has threatened the Long Pine Police Department to remain quiet regarding these incidents. No! We lost our men. We're not going to remain quiet. Make us, bitch! Pages. 1 minute 33. Classified material. Observed stages of the Starkill infestation. Sustenance hunt. Ew. The star kill begins to absorb most available biomass to sustain itself for all subsequent stages. Intelligence accumulation. Ew. The star kill searches for an for ant for ant targets unless intelligent species available to for assimilation. Self replication. Oh god. Starkill is able to form enough biomass to manufacture novel entities for, from itself using whatever. These hubs include altar, altars, which produce small, smaller Starkill life forms, and temples, which produce larger life forms. A fourth stage has been hypnotized based on critical mass calculations. It is unknown what will occur once the Starkill network reaches critical mass. However, the network is, pre is predicted to grow to the following size within a year. Oh, that's not good. I'll, that's not a good thing, I'm pretty sure. I don't know about you. Oh, that's it for this. Okay. All right, we got the next one. Homebound. It is seven minutes. Let's go. Home Delta. Now, Act 2 is only like two videos, so be ready. Operation Homebound. Operation begins April 13th, 1999. Home HQ determined to be completely assimilated. Oh, man. That's a damn shame. AGM 114 Hellfire. Obliterated. Ground forces raid. I might get copyrighted for this song. If not, I'll be shocked. Jones family, Giga track, Giga tracked, or whatever. Oh my God. Orbital bombardment. <laughs> Of Alpha Chunk and Starfield, ranch commences at 12:10 a.m. We're just sending airstrikes in, <laughs> obliterated. <laughs> Starkill threat, obliterated. Yeah, we killed them. God bless America. <laughs> we know how to drop bombs. Hello, oh, sir. Now, oh, Jesus. As per the request of Admiral Nero of Home Delta Division, 
This report is to be given to the select committee consisting of the Secretary of Defense and the National Aeronautics Space Administration on the date of April 14, 1999. This report is classified as top secret in an effort to preserve national security. On April 13, home Delta forces managed to successfully eliminate all known traces of the Stark Hill threat. While some Stark Hill spores remain in the atmosphere around operational zones in the Midwest, these spores were discovered to be inert without the presence of a central biomass hub. Research is now underway at various institutions across the United States to uncover the Stark Hill's true nature and functionality. Preliminary research performed by Home Delta has led to the hypotheses surrounding the possible origins for AZ-001 or possible instances of AZ-001's arrival to Earth in the past. Throughout written history, world cultures and religions describe some variation of an apocalyptic deluge in which a great destructive force violently brings civilization to an end. Researchers believe this deluge is representative of the organism known as AZ-001 and the subsequent Starkill infestation. It is believed this civilization-ending event occurs in cycles, though much remains uncertain at this time. However, what we do know is that the cycle of destruction and violence has finally been brought to an end with the might of the United States military. We may well even have stopped the power of God himself with just a fraction of our military capabilities. Find solace in that fact, the fact that we have nothing more to fear in this universe, for we have become stronger than God. The oppressed have become the oppressor, and only the oppressors have the freedom to choose peace and end the cycle of violence. Admiral Nero, I commend your efforts. You lurked among the shadows as you played your hand. I'm fully aware. You may try to kill me now, but know that the man speaking in front of this community right now is actually a death row inmate scheduled for execution. I, too, am playing your game, Nero, and I'm... The man posing as General Garrett was confirmed to be death row inmate Isaac Dunn. What? His death was ruled as an assassination. General Garrett C. Piso, current whereabouts remain unknown. What the hell? No, we obliterated you. Admiral Nero. Chunk separation. Sing your last song, my children. Sing your cry to the universe. I long to live forever through the sound of the heartbeat. Oh, how even I find such sounds to be soothing. A mathematical purity. The expression of the universe's logical blueprint in a tangible form. Music down. enriches the soul. It is truly humanity's crowning achievement. Now, my children, let your voices echo through the vastness of space. Let your souls sing with great spirit for all eternity. No. Delta threat. Obliterated. What is going on? That's it. Now we're on to the next a 40 second video. Pause. Ah. Soothing. 
very soothing. I need this. Continued sunny, warm, breezy, low, 65, high, 85. Winds, 15, 25 from the south. Oh, man. Stop it. I'm pausing it. I want to hear the, I want to hear the nice, calm music. Unpause it. Wait, was that something in the background? Gotta get to the next one, don't I? Fuck. This playlist is four videos long. And we're on to Easter. Which is a six minute video. Starkiller research. The process of communication between unique instances of Starkill include instances known as whatever. From Dr. Stanley Vega of the Xenobio Research Group, of how the star kill infection assimilates foreign biomatter, and that its methodology for doing so seemingly depends on what intentions it has. We, until recently, failed to understand how different pieces of the alpha chunk seemingly all become aware of new information, even if its pieces are long distances apart from each other. Recent experimentation revealed that certain alpha chunk samples animate a unique energy signature not previously encountered in prior studies. We've discovered that this energy signature becomes more detectable in parts of the alpha chunk where large concentrations of what we fittingly called Podolsky neurons are present. Because of their presence in AZ001, we are of the belief that these Podolsky neurons are part of the entity central nervous system. Specifically, they are responsible for transmitting information signals to different parts of the entity's body. The observation that different pieces of the alpha chunk all become aware of the same information simultaneously, despite their masses not being physically connected, leads us to believe that Podolsky neuron signals operate on a principle similar to quantum entanglement. long-range network of neurons has been dubbed whatever. Test March 15, 1995. Or 99. I can't read. Inserted to spinal cord via, via uh, three samples are administered and resulted, results are recorded. But, ah, I can't read. Test one. Please back away from the camera. Sir? Sir? is uncomfortably close. Test two. No. Participant is asked to report thought process and re-enter personal info. Name, Stanley Vega. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh oh But we continue to believe that the test is a screening for infection. That's two. how close he is to the camera. Oh, 
Close your mouth when you're chewing. Oh, that's not good. Do you remember your name? Um... Intimate knowledge of a man. It's an intimate knowledge of a man named John Carl. Test three. He's dead. Easter, Easter, Easter. <laughs> My distance vocabulary is limited to the word Easter. Prototype, exact data from, yeah, he's dead. He's gone. You're gonna have to put him down. Babylon. A nine minute, nine and a half minute video. Avalon Project. Today marks the 12 year anniversary of the Babylon Project and the founding of Home Delta. The date is March 13th, 1999. As director of the Babylon Project, reporting to the general commanding director of Home Delta, I, Dr. Robert Spencer, am obliged to construct this full report detailing the Babylon Project's progress as of March of 1999. Since the Annunciation event on January 28th and the subsequent elimination of Dr. Evans, the contamination of Home HQ has continued to progress at an exponential rate. We estimate that 75% like of Home staff have been infected and continue operation as phantoms. Further, through routine checks of Home HQ, we have determined that the Starkill biomass has reached the Temple classification. We believe that Wraith classification entities may be birthed by the Temple in as soon as 12 days. My recommendation would be to gather the final samples for research and begin Operation Homebound promptly. How about the don't do that? squads are prepared for immediate action. Dr. Churchill, we're preparing for the final descent into Home HQ now. Mission will commence in 48 hours. Good. Spencer, I have a request. What is it, sir? Dr. Stanley Vega of the Xenobiology Group has been researching the Akashic Plane. I need you to retrieve him and his work, but under no circumstances should you allow him to learn the true nature of Home Delta. Understood. Let him know. What should be done if he's already infected? He won't be. He works in the BSL-4 lab. We've determined that sector to be clean, and it's projected to be clean for at least 10 more days. If he's visibly infected, eliminate him. Otherwise, we will conduct a sim test to determine if he has phantom blood. Retrieve his lab assistant too, Dr. Solomon Azra. Same rules apply. That's not fair. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what are you planning with him? <sighs> My plans of Vega have nothing to do with your job. This is yes, pretty good, Spencer. The most I can tell you is that it involves research into the Akashic plane. Speaking of which, have you retrieved the new info on Lucas Michaels? Yes, I have. It's in the data room. I think you'll be interested in our findings. We're not sure what to make of it yet. Good. I'm looking forward to it. When you return, we'll run the SIN test at Nazareth site and continue operations as planned. We're on schedule. Understood. And for Operation Homebound? It will commence April 4th. 
forth. Delta Squad infiltrates home HQ. Got it. Oh, that's right. I forgot to say, we're in the interlude A. Temple entrance. Proceed with sample collection. Avoid direct contact with the star kill. ESL lab. You better infiltrate it. Kill it. Potential risk in the BSL labs required to be taken to the quarantine zone for a mandatory screening for infection. I understand that is protocol, but this is the highest safety level lab at home, and there shouldn't be any risk of cross contamination in the last two months. Regardless, we still have to take you to quarantine. Where's your lab partner, Dr. Ezra? Uh, he was transferred back to the main facility. That's okay. We'll pick him up along the way. Bring your research materials and maybe place in quarantine for a few weeks. Yeah. You don't get a choice. Sin test performed at Nazareth site. First patient, Dr. Stanley Vega. Okay, Dr. Vega, I'm assuming you're familiar with the process of a sin test, correct? Uh, that's correct. Okay, great. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you are to answer truthfully. Once the test is complete, we will know if you are infected or not. That being said, here's the first question. It's Christmas morning and you're with your family. Your wife hands you a wrapped gift. What do you do next? Well, uh, of course, I thank my wife and open the present, carefully unraveling the ribbons, and then I, I'd probably give her a hug. Next question. It's early in the morning and you see a UFO in the sky, illuminated by the light of dawn. What are you thinking? Uh, I'd probably be a bit confused, but I'd probably think of it rationally. Could it potentially be a balloon, a, a plane, a helicopter? A UFO implies that it's merely unidentified. It could be entirely prosaic. Okay, last question. You have decided to participate in a charity event for your local church. Why did you make this decision? Well, I was born and raised Catholic, and I think if I had the opportunity to give to those less fortunate, uh, I would. Thank you, Dr. Vega. Uh, your results came clean. Please exit through the door on your right and remain seated in the waiting room until you are called. Thank you again for your cooperation. Page, second patient, Dr. Solomon Ezra. Dr. Ezra, are you familiar with the SIN test? Yes, yes I am. All right, as you know, I'm going to be asking you a series of questions. Answer them truthfully. At the end, we will be able to determine if you are infected or not. Let's begin. First question. You work at a competitive company. The promotion comes down to either you or your coworker. What do you do? I would work hard and try to beat him. I would think, why should he be the one to get a promotion? I, of course, would be the one doing the work. He was just lucky. Uh, next question. It's a All Saturday right. night and you decide to cook dinner for the whole family. What made you make this decision? If I were to do that, it would be because I was hungry. Okay, next. I am you see selfish a man and woman embracing each other in a field. There are white clouds dotted against a blue sky. What are you thinking at this moment? I don't know. I'm not sure. Why would I be in the field? But what purpose does it serve? What is the purpose of the sky? Do you go to church, Dr. Ezra? Is this part of the test? Answer the question, Ezra. I do. Okay, let me ask you another question. Do you believe in God? I do. I said I go to church. All Very right. well. Selfish Let's asshole. Don't have any food. You receive bread from a stranger, but it's only enough for one person, and your son is on the brink of complete starvation. What do you do next? I would eat the bread, of course. I would be hungry. Any sane person would do the same. Would you say your knowledge of the world is greater than anybody you've met? Yes, I would say that applies to me. Actually, I know it does. And what about yeah, he's infected. Infinity? Can you see it clearly? Yes. He's not infected, he's just an asshole. The Minister Asphyxiation Agent. Code 6-6. Six six. Error. Task cannot be completed. Error. 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 He's infected.
I'm about to say he's not infected. He's just an asshole. Medical report. Medical report. Now. Stat. <laughs> Dr. Robert Spencer. Infection site. Patient in critical condition. Spencer, I know you can hear me, but I'm afraid you won't be able to respond now. This wasn't according to the scenario, and I shouldn't have let Ezra into the Nazareth site. Fortunately, Ezra has been eliminated, and the Nazareth site is under strict lockdown. Unfortunately, because you were infected, the best we can do is slow the infection as much as possible, which means we had to put you into cryo sleep. Your knowledge is too valuable. Listen, Spencer, I'm researching something important with the Starkill, a way to perhaps reverse the infection using Starkill samples. It could even grant immortality. It will be done by April 4th, and on that day, humanity will prevail and defeat the Starkill threat. Project Babylon nice will be complete, and we will then be able to initiate Operation Homebound. In my effort to understand the cosmos, I made a grave mistake, and I'm only now seeing the weight of my sins unfold before my eyes. God, please forgive me. No. No. Coliseum, eight minutes. Oh my, Mars attacks. Uh. What are you looking at here? A reconstruction of brain images obtained while you were sleeping. Does it look familiar to you? I occasionally see things like that when I dream, yes. And you said this started April 5th. 85, correct? Yes, the day I found AZ-001, the anomaly of Orbiting Jupiter. How about that? Do you believe it has any correlation with these dreams? I'm really not sure. I, the rational answer is no, it does not. But something about it disturbs me almost like it's speaking to me. I feel like somebody else is see entirely. Elaborate. I can't really describe it concretely, but it's like I've been here before, but I really long time ago, before the beginning of the universe, even. I can almost see my life from back then, but it's not me at all. Tyler Spencer has worked in occult research. Oh my god. So you two know that what's going on then? We don't have quite enough data to give you a clear answer just yet. We need more reconstruction scans to form better understanding of the situation first. This could be entirely possible. It's still. In the meantime, we are appointing you as head of new organization to study this anomaly i don't i i do not agree likewise dr kirchner home begins operation by march of 1987 and is led by uh, Home Delta begins operation March 13th, 1987, is led by Dr. Robert Spencer and Dr. Gamma Churchill. Dr. Lucas Michaels never made aware of the existence of Home Delta. Project Babylon Evolutionary Phase Overview. All right, let's go. AZ-001, oh. Starkill, whatever you want to call it. It's a collective hive mind. It's one singular organism. It's all connected and it speaks to itself telepathically. What might have appeared as the rotting organ of a once forgotten deity has now shown its true colors in the form of a highly advanced singular organism comparable to a supercomputer. Through this network we're calling the Akashic Plane, which we've derived from the anthroposophic theory of the Akashic Records, AZ-001, the evolved god, can contain and process memories of everything that it has ever assimilated. As such, its intelligence and wisdom is beyond comprehension. It is an evolved life form, to put it simply. Humanity in its current state has no way of even entertaining the possibility of a fair fight. 
AC-001 is simply better than us on all fronts. That's why we began Project Babylon here at Home Delta. And that's why we're prepared to level the playing field by bringing humanity to its next stage of evolution using the Starkill's own biological framework. Evolution hey. has been the mission of Project Babylon since the very beginning. But now, thanks to the results of the home experiment, we've gathered enough data to begin the first tangible steps of this artificial revolution of humanity. Alright, February 26, 1999. Death's bringer training. What? Oh my god. Just kill it, man. Live training against Revive Star Kill. I don't like this. Oh Lord. Kill me now. Oh boy, dearie me. Did you kill it? Holy shit me. I was assassinated from behind. Soldier 338 terminated. March 4th, 1999. Star Kill Sam Prosperities. Most head subjects were killed in the process of Star Kill Seltran. Organs liquefied, cellular breakdown, skin melted. Ew. Recent tests have resulted in survivors aided with cybernetic. What? Result acceptable. Result acceptable. Result acceptable. That doesn't look acceptable. That looks very much not acceptable. These biomechanical soldiers form the backbone of human. Of home Delta's military. March 21st, 1999. Incoming transmission to Churchill. Spencer, it's me. I've given up my rank as Admiral of Home Delta. That title is going to you in preparation of Operation Homebound. You will have control over the Tower of Babel and you'll be able to control the Deathbringer squads entirely with your mind. The pieces have been in place since the beginning. It's unfortunate that you ended up in this state, but this is the only way. Once I finalize Project Babylon, it's all up to you. This battle is yours to decide. Man. Stop that. March 28th. Protocol 17B enacted. Plain research home HQ contained and secured. Oh boy. Index. You better press index. Deleted. Oh boy. Search on information retrieval from ASIC plane is still ongoing. Interface probe. A lot of flashing lights, honestly. Extraction. A completed device is expected soon. Advancements have been made thanks to test the test conducted on. All right, it's over. Expedis. It's the final video is 10 minutes. Okay.
the final video right now. My name is Dr. Gamma Churchill. The date is April 4th, 1999. Today, the Babylon Project will be completed. The Starkill stem cell insertion into Dr. Spencer will occur at sundown, making him potentially the most powerful human being in history. Huh. Following this event, the Tower of Babel will activate, linking the Deathbringer's minds into the local Akashic network. Spencer will then have telepathic control over the highly trained and near immortal Deathbringer militia. Finally, Operation Homebound will commence it at midnight, superhero. bringing a bitter end to the Starkill's assault on humanity. I have absolute faith in humanity's victory. I, I think the first time I've heard that. Code 15 uh, uh, seconds on my command. Give me insertion protocol. Ready two minus five, four, three, two, one. Mark Ooh. insert. Exodus. Exodus. Aaron, we need to report the mission. It's done. Babylon failed. Yes, sir. No. This might be our only hope. Let's go. for your lives. Okay. Secure bunker classified location. found out aren't we it's running what's going on it's in the star kills native tongue if you will it's encoded one of the functions of the Akashic probe is to decode the messages into a readable format 
13th moon, west, time zero. Restart. 13th moon, west. April 13th. The Starkill is probably planning on faking Operation Homebound. Churchill, I have found you. You are careless. I find it humorous how you continue to poke at the sleeping bear, yet you feel fade like a blade. A sad specimen, unable to comprehend your limitations. I must remark, the toys you left me give me great delight, as if to look upon a child's crude drawings. They are almost completely useless, save for the creation of a veil to act to the magician's toolkit. A veil to match the truth to your governing body. Once your toys have served their temporary purpose, they shall be discarded. I'm sending some to you now as a parting gift. I do hope you enjoy your own creations. Best of luck to you, from Admiral Nero. Uh oh. Setting up a jammer, we'll There's one behind us. That's not good. Oh. And we're lucky there were only a few. The jammer must have confused them. Aaron, your name will now be Fakebringer. Your mission will be to infiltrate the Babel site and relay any information regarding the Starkill's plans. The suit will protect your biosignature. From there, we will begin our retaliation. Sir, I'm willing to die for humanity. May God bless you. No, you're not. Gamma Chill, Ch Churchill. I'm in a secure location. No transmissions in or out. As of an hour ago, Fakebringer has completed the first infiltration attempt. He has successfully entered the facility, obtained information, and exited, meeting me at a rendezvous point to relay his findings. According to Fakebringer, Nero is planning to set up a conference after Operation Homebound with the Secretary of Defense and members of NASA administration in attendance. It is here where I'm going to make my first move. A declaration of war to Nero. Oh. From now on, my name shall be Piso. Nero will know what that means. The rage I feel now is debilitating. Maybe it's my dying spirit grasping for the last remnants of humanity within me. Or maybe I'm just hiding from fear. The mistakes I've made have eaten me alive. That much I know. My injuries, a mark of my body torn do? apart. My confusion. A mark of my mind defiled in my heartlessness. A mark of my soul tainted. When we first began the Babylon Project, Dr. Spencer told me something I should have never forgotten. Knowledge betrays man's ego. And now, yeah. the knowledge I've gained from losing everything has made me realize how powerless I am in the face of infinity. Yet I continue, unaware of the fate that may be bestowed upon me. I don't believe God can save us now. Only the tenacity of humanity's everlasting soul will have the courage to prevail. Got it. 
That's it. That's going to be the end of this video, guys. This was fun. This was a fun little horror. It wasn't all that scary, but it was definitely an enjoyable story. You could enjoy it, definitely. Obviously, the... I hope I remember to do it. Channel description will be... The channel link will be in the description below if you want to watch all of it. By yourself, please go show support to Midwest Angelica because the story somehow is not over technically. This is just the last video that's on the channel. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. See you guys in the next video. See ya!